Hi guys, welcome to Trendy Tech, the channel where we help you to discover and enjoy the supernatural powers of tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a web page into a PDF on your iPhone. There are two ways of doing this. The first one is the easier and the better method, which works on both Safari and on iPhone. And I'm going to show you how to do this using this. And I'm going to show you how to do this using Safari, but it works exactly the same using Chrome as well. The second method is to use a screenshot and we'll look at that method too. All right, so this is the web page I want to convert to PDF. I just have to click on this share button at the bottom center here. And then I have a number of options here. Click on print. Now on this page, I get to select which pages I want to include in my PDF. I can unselect some by clicking here. And when I'm satisfied with the pages I have, all I have to do is to zoom into any of these pages, zoom into or zoom out of. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this very first page. And then there you go. Your web page is now a very nice PDF. You can see from here all the pages that you included in your PDF. Once you are satisfied with what you see, you just click on the share button on the top right over here. Once again, you have a number of options. You can import to Acrobat. You can copy to documents or save to files as well. If you don't see any of these options here, you can click on edit actions and you can select it from here. Now I'm going to go ahead and save to files. Here I can change the name of the file, all right? So whatever I like. And then once I'm satisfied with the name, I can click on done and then choose the location over here. I'm going to choose Acrobat and then save on the top right. And there you go. Your web page has been saved as a PDF. And I chose Adobe Reader, which means that whenever I need my file, I can simply go to Adobe and find the file over there by simply searching or looking at the recent tab. Now let's quickly look at the other method which involves taking a screenshot. All I have to do is to take a quick screenshot once I take the screenshot, I want to click on the screenshot on the bottom right here. Now note that it doesn't take very long there, so you have to be very quick about it. And then from here, I can select full page. And over here, sorry, you can have, over here, you get the full page and you can scroll through it to see what you have. The disadvantage with this is that you don't get it nicely broken down into pages as you get with the other method that I showed you. But it still works. I'd, I prefer the other method though. Once you are satisfied with what you have, you want to click on done and you want to save PDF to files. And here you can change the name once again. And then you can click on done once you are satisfied with the name and you choose the location and click on save. As simple as that. So there you go. Those are the two easiest methods to convert any web page into a PDF on your iPhone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,